There are lots of places where you can buy creepy and spooky things this time of year, but this new store on Capitol Hill features items that are one of a kind. Uh, this place is 5 8 Museum 3 8 uh, Retail Antique Oddities, Curiosities, and Haunted Goods Store. The number 13 in the address may be coincidence, but the inventory is macabre by design. I think people should stay curious. People should stay wondering about things. I love it when I find something that isn't on the internet. Jack and Tiffany Bennett own the Never Told Casket Company, selling pieces of an historic and some might say horrific collection they spent years amassing. We have a set of baby squirrel shoes. Yeah, they, uh, they're quite the, quite the set of shoes. <laughs> Uh, that is an odd fellow skeleton from uh, probably around 1850, 1860. It's, uh, it's paper mache. I was driving through Kent and I saw that sitting in a guy's yard. They also specialize in vintage taxidermy. He is circa mid 1700s, so he is very old. From a centuries old badger to a beloved family pet from the 1960s. He had a great happy life. I think his family just couldn't deal with his loss, so they just put him up to celebrate his they life. stuffed him. There are also dental tools that had to hurt. Uh, and that was before, you know, real anesthetics. So, you know, you might get a little shot of ether or maybe some whiskey. A chair made of real horns and others you can wear. The most normal people have the most strange things rolling around in the back of their closets. Every piece has a story, and the Bennetts believe every story is worth telling. I love the idea that history is sort of terrifying, and what passes for normal today will be the atrocity, the abomination of tomorrow. It's more disrespectful to throw it away and forget that it ever happened. I, I feel think. like we need the reminders of what we've done in the past to help us see what we they may be doing wrong right now. <laughs> right. As for the shop's name, they do sell caskets too. Jack makes them by hand. I do. Uh, my grandfather was a cabinet maker and I, I sort of learned the trade from him. Is it beautiful or disturbing? That's in the eye of the beholder. And the Bennetts are trying to shine a new light on dark curiosities. I hope that they have learned something new and um, that they're kind of, they have a lot of inspiration. Like maybe it makes them, helps them think differently.